Now, putting back all the rubbish. <laughs> I say rubbish. Oh, now, putting back everything in there for storage. <laughs> Hello, hello, welcome to this very short video. I'm just going to thank a few people that um, gave me advice on changing the pressure on my heat pump. On my last video, I showed you my MMI and they advised me on how to change the, uh, how to increase the pressure on it. It was one, 0 0.6, I think, and I need to get it up to between 1 and 1.5. So I've looked at a few videos and I've seen how it's done. And I don't remember the Octopus guys giving me the pipe, the flexible pipe that you need. So first thing I did was to clear the uh, airing cupboard. And then now I just found the pipe. The pipe was left hanging there. It's there. So all good. I will go through what I'm going to do recording it for anyone else that wants to know and thank you for this community for people just giving advice and talking to each other well done guys thank you very much i think the guy is raymond i think yeah on my comments so thank you very much buddy here is my video of increasing my pressure right let me just tidy up in there so i'm i'm taking i've just seen the pipe is underneath there i'll show you now I've had to take out everything. As you know, the airing cupboard is a storage place, really. I, I would love to get rid of some of these things, really, because they don't, we don't ever use them. If they are in here, you never use them, but tell that to the other half. Right, as you can see, it's still 0 0.6, and water is at 45, which it's done good because it's due to reheat again around 8.30, so at 45, it still looks good. And inside it's saying it's 23 degrees feels comfortable and everything is good um, so i've just done, done that part and the pipe is right there so they left it there for me so because i know the paperwork is up there i put the paperwork up there so i wasn't sure of the pipe so yes they did leave it there for me so yeah here we are I need to find the two inlets that it goes into. I think it's that one there. I need to find the other one. So I'll just continue um, taking off these things and uh, get to work. I didn't want to take off all the mess. But there is the pipe. <laughs> there is the pipe. And this is the place that I need to undo this. Like so. And, and this one as well yeah like that so it looks straightforward really it's um i hope i'll capture everything so the pipe is there and the pressure meter is there as well which is similar to that so all i think i do is undo these two oh, yeah you lost that one these two like so and the pipe goes in like so thank you thank you so much guys you know i was thinking i'll do it when they service the heat pump yet it's something that you can do on your own really you know temperature the pressure does go down now and again so um it should be something that we we know so i hope i'm helping others on uh, the youtube channels and you know we help each other on on what we know so that's tight and that's that's tight that way so now all i need to do is to move these when they're open they go that way when they're open and remember to close them so i will just double check the pressure is still 0.6 there so i will do one i think it's going there yeah, straight away don't know if you can see no need to go up there like that it's easy really this way and this one is the one i will use let me bring down like that so we can see 
like that. So I will do that. Let me. There we go. Was loud. Right. After that, look guys, so let me get this up. Look at that. How easy was that? 1.4 already. You know, that is it. You know, that's how you increase the pressure. So really, really straightforward and something that, you know, um, hope everyone can see. I'll just do it again tiny more because when you close for some reason then don't forget to move that as well so move that out like that so that's closed that's closed there's one thing i'll say is always double check that you've done it the right way and yeah undo that i'm sure there'll be some water to trip out. There, like that. There's been a few, yes. Let me hold on to that, like so. Yeah, then remember to close like that. Not too much, just close it. And I'll do this one. I should have done this side first so I could hold the water in there like that. and close using the, the tiny bit of drips where I am but yeah this is it so you can monitor ready to see if you know but I've closed there and I've closed there all closed all closed and the pressure is Oh, I've gone high. <laughs> it's now 1.7. So I'll leave it at that. I think it will hopefully sort itself out. But yeah, that's it. So yeah, that was it really. It took me what? Three minutes, four minutes to do this. So thank you so much to everyone on and I'll put the list of the people that talked about the, the pressure on the previous video. Thank you. Thank you so much. And let's share all the ideas and everything that is happening, guys. Thank you for watching and do subscribe to the channel. We talk about heat pumps. We talk about electric cars. We talk about, we sometimes talk about solar because it's one of the things on my mind. But it looks likely that a battery, a storage battery will be my next investment. So thank you and hope you to see you on the next one. Bye.